What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going to start talking about the best turbo upgrade for your 6.0 power stroke. Now today we're going to talk a lot about Turbo Time Performance or Turbo Time USA, excuse me. We're going to talk a lot about their turbos as ugh, we got one right here and they also sponsor our channel. But first YouTube, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop those comments down below guys. And also, what has been your experience with that turbo? How have you liked it so far guys? Let's drop those comments down below. So you have your 6.0, you're in the market for a turbo. What kind of turbo should you get? Or what size turbo? There's a bunch of different sizes. There's turbine wheels, there's compressor wheels. What does it all mean? So we're gonna talk strictly about VGT turbos today. And a lot of what we're gonna say here is going to kind of fall over into other companies as well. Like I said, specifically, we're gonna talk about Turbo Time USA. There is a 5% discount code down in the description. Check that out. I'll put it here on the screen somewhere as well. And that's off their custom turbos like what we're gonna show you here. But a lot of this will also go into other brands that are out there that are really big with great customer service in the 6.0 community. So just, this isn't strictly for them. This will kind of go into other turbos. That This will be applicable for them as well. So first, this turbo, they're heavy, they're not light. This guy, this is Turbo Time USA, it has their velocity port here. Big fan of this, I did a really in-depth review of this. This is their 64 millimeter, I believe by 94, which that first number you hear when you talk about turbos, pick it up again, that, this number here, it's this part of the compressor wheel. Now, if we were to take this cover off, what you would see is the compressor wheel gets wider down there. These are typically measured in millimeters. I don't think I've ever seen it any other way. So this is a 64 by 94. I'm pretty certain of that second number. Turbo Time has since gone private with a lot of their dimensions. They let you know the inducer, which is the part you can see of the compressor wheel, but not the other side. This is probably one of the most common sizes. It's very similar to the PowerMax Turbo, which is 63.5 millimeters. So very similar in size. This has a 10 blade turbine wheel, which is also the same size as the PowerMax turbo there, which is very common. The 03 turbos and early 04 share the same turbine wheel as this guy here. So great top end performance. And in my experience is actually these, this size turbo is a great towing turbo because when you're pulling those grades, you don't have to worry about exhaust temps. That's what I like about this. It's also a great uh, hot street truck turbo because you still got quick spool up with a 64 millimeter, but you have that top end performance with the turbine wheel to help kind of keep those exhaust temps down, give you great flow up top as well. This is probably the style turbo I recommend for most people is a 64 millimeter. Now again, that velocity port there, the velocity port turbo that I run is a 66 millimeter, which is the next size up. We're gonna get to talking about that in a minute. Um, the velocity port, what I've noticed with, it has a very aggressive sound to it. I like it, it's not overwhelming, but you do very distinctly hear it under the hood. Now, most of your whistle comes from the turbine side. So a lot of people think like your wheels change that drastically, typically not. There's a few styles out there that are really aggressive that you do hear a difference, but generally speaking, the whistle everyone raves about, exhaust side. Now, Turbo Time USA also offers a 61 millimeter. And I do wanna say this, they're not the only ones to offer a 61 millimeter. I'm not a super big fan of that upgrade with the exception of a few things. If you're not going to upgrade your injectors at all, I'm not a super big fan of 155s. I think you should step up to a 175. It's a very small amount of money increase to keep the stock nozzle. But if you're keeping stock injectors or 155, you could get away with the 175, but again, that's kind of like where we're getting into where you should be looking at this turbo here. That 61 millimeter turbo is great then. It'll spool super fast. Or if you're a guy in a manual transmission, in between those gears, you're gonna lose all your boost. So you have to worry about that constant spool up time. So a 61 millimeter, again, in that application, I do think is probably a pretty wise upgrade for a lot of people. Again though, 64 millimeter, like what we have here is my go-to option. I do like the velocity port. It is a little bit expensive to get the velocity port. They do have models without it as well. And you can't tell, but this one's actually powder coated a silver. Mine on the truck is powder coated, or my white truck is powder coated black. Uh, they look super sharp. Now moving forward, again, 64 millimeters, probably the best all around turbo. You can get away, you can do well with up to a 205-30 injector with that. And you can 
can get away with even stock injectors with that. Again, at the stock injector, I don't think you need it if you're gonna stay there. It's one of the few times I think the 61 millimeter is an okay option. But typically, I think you should step up to the 64 millimeter. Now, when do you wanna go from a 64 millimeter to like a 66? They also offer a 68 and a 72. A lot of other companies offer 68s. Uh, 64.7 is common with other manufacturers. I think the 64.7 guys, you can really group in just with this turbo here. I don't think you necessarily need to do a whole lot different to upgrade to that turbo if that's something you're looking for as well. So when do you wanna make the jump to the 66, 68, or the 72? That's really gonna be in your racing applications. I do have plans down the road once the white truck is back and I start messing with injectors again to start looking and testing some of those other turbos and finding out how they perform on the street. Now I will say the 66 millimeter, they still use the GT37 um, 10 blade wheel here. So the power max turbine wheel. So you're still gonna get pretty decent spool up and the 66 millimeter spool is great. I will say you now need to really consider your towing applications here. The 64 millimeter, you're fine all day to tow with the 66 millimeter. When you get to the 66 millimeter, you need to really start considering how important towing is to you and how heavy you're gonna tow. And just, you might wanna do some messing around. A lot of people don't realize when you start throwing bigger tires on your truck and bigger turbos, you really start messing with that highway cruising, especially under load. I do think the 66 millimeter you will tow just fine with. I do plan to test this with about 10,000 pounds I'll probably have to hit a buddy up to hook up to his trailer when the white truck is back because my camper's up in New York and I'm not taking it out of there just to tow uh, to bring it right back to New York within the same day. So anyway, uh, I'll probably have to hook up with somebody else to get some towing reviews with that. But again, my idea for most people, it's probably not gonna do super great in comparison to the 64 millimeter or even the 61 will probably outperform it. Even the 61 millimeter will most likely outperform the 66 in a towing application 95% of the time. Now from everything I've seen, when you get into the 68 and the 70, 72 millimeter uh, VGT turbos, absolutely towing is pretty much off limits at that point maybe light loads but the turbos are just too big there's too much lag and you're going to have high egt's and it's going to be a struggle to deal with the whole time so at those points guys you need to be looking at pretty much dedicated street trucks i wouldn't say you need to have dedicated race trucks at that point because vgt turbos are going to top out at about 650 to 700 horsepower you know, sure you can, I mean, uh, there's a guy with a VGT turbo, I think he pushes like 1100, but he's spraying a lot of nitrous. He has a really cool race truck. And you're most likely not gonna be spraying nitrous on the street. That's probably a relatively bad idea, generally speaking. But again, we're on fuel only, these turbos are gonna top out from anything I've seen about 650 to 700 is really the limit. There's some people, there's a guy on the forums that every now and then really jumps down my throat about that, that estimate. And uh, I'm not saying you can't push it a little further. Again, this is a very general rule. That's where it is. Now, the larger turbos may give you certain characteristics that are favorable, but if you're gonna get into them, again, you need to be understanding you're losing towing, ca you're, bleh, you're losing towing capability, and you're not gonna be able to have that down low, fast response all the time. Now there's things like tuning can do wonders for it. Injectors can do wonders for it. Thickum tuning can also help fine tune those larger turbos. But again, just generally speaking, if you're towing, your 64 and smaller are gonna be ideal. I do like the 10 blade turbine wheels for towing. I think that generally speaking, they give me the top end performance I like. I don't have to really worry about my exhaust temps ever when I'm towing with a 10 blade. Whereas with a 13 blade, you might have some other issues when you're pulling extended grades. So that's why I like the 10 blade. The 13 blade for certain models, um, again, typically Turbo Time doesn't offer 13 blades, just as a heads up. Uh, you can call and ask that. I don't know if they'll accommodate it, but other companies do have 13 blades. Down low, they will outperform it, but typically speaking, with the towing I do, a lot of highway driving, I'm not super down low all the time. Now, you might want to consider that more if you have 37s and factory gears and that spool time is going to be even more critical for you when you're towing. Maybe that's something to consider, but generally speaking, I like the 10 blade turbine wheel. Plus it gives you a lot of that fun, well-known, iconic 
6.0 power stroke whistle. Now the 13 blade will quiet it down a little bit. It will give you that faster spool up time, but up top, again, it won't perform as well. And could you could be dealing with some higher exhaust temps at that point too. The other question I get all the time is the velocity port. So you do get some cool sounds with it. And I'm a big fan of cool sounds out of our trucks. I do believe it helps smooth the airflow in. So just bear in mind, it's just a different way of doing a similar function that every turbo has. I do really like the execution of this and I think it's super cool and something a little bit different than what a lot of guys are doing in the VGT world. So to recap everything that's been in this video, first off guys, again, discount code down below, get 5% off. They are affiliate links and that is an affiliate code. I do get some reimbursement, so keep that in mind, which is why at the end of this video, I am gonna list two other companies that I have no affiliation with but in your search for the best 6.0 power stroke turbo, you are definitely gonna to wanna to check these guys out. So your 61 millimeter turbos are gonna be strictly for your guys, either a manual transmission that's gonna stay with a mild injector upgrade is a good idea, or for you guys that are sticking with stock injectors and still want an upgrade that'll outperform the factory turbo. Now moving on, that takes us to my personal favorite upgrade. The 64 millimeter turbo with the 10 blade turbine wheel is gonna be the most common upgrade in my opinion. It's a very versatile turbo from towing heavy max weight to just a fun street truck you're going to be able like a turbo that size is going to put you down the track in the low 13s if you have all the other supporting mods you do need a lot of fuel for that don't get me wrong but it's a very capable turbo and i'd say you're probably looking at about 600 horsepower if you have all the other supporting mods um, there is, I'm not saying definitively that's what you'll do, but there's a, cause there's a lot that goes into it, but I'm going to say upwards of about 600 horsepower is where you're going to lie. The max of the 64 millimeter turbo. Now going on, you have the, uh, turbo time USA has two different wheels. They have a single plane and a dual plane, 66 millimeter, both available with the velocity port and without again, get the velocity port. I like it. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> if you're on a budget, don't do it, but if you're not, this velocity port's awesome. So if you have a preference to single blade versus dual blade, that is a conversation for a whole other time and a much more technical conversation that I need to do more research. I have run both single plane bla uh, wheels and dual plane wheels, and I can't tell a huge difference, but from what I understand, uh, down low, again, don't hold me to this, but my understanding is down low, the single plane wheels spool a little faster. And on the top end, the dual plane wheels are capable of flowing more air. So you definitely look into that more. Don't necessarily take my word for that part exactly. And again, from there, you have 68 and 62 millimeter or 62, 72 millimeter turbo. And we're talking about the compressor wheel. Now, Turbo Time USA sticks to the GT 3788, I believe it is, the Powermax turbine shaft. So some other companies go to a bigger turbine shaft. And again, there's, I can't speak to them because I haven't had in-depth conversations with them about it the way I have Turbo Time USA. But just so you guys are aware, it's out there. And down the road, I actually plan to run some of the other turbos from Turbo Time USA on the white truck. This turbo here, ugh, this turbo here is for this truck here. When we get to the tow build on this guy, this is Josh's six liter in the background. Love this truck. Anyway, everybody, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a different backstop besides looking at my six, seven plus we got the turbo to look at. I love this turbo. I'm excited to get this on this one, but we have a few other projects for this truck before the turbo actually gets put on there. So now I did tell you, I just want to guys the channel while Turbo Time USA is a big supporter of this channel and they really do help make this possible. I can't just act like they're the only act in town that's making a quality product. Uh, they're not, they have a great product and I hope you check them out and consider using the discount code below the affiliate link. Um, but KC Turbo is also make also makes just amazing turbos and he has a great reputation. Charlie is a great guy. Uh, I've gotten to talk to him a few times and before this sponsorship, I've actually purchased a fair amount of random parts off him. Uh, VGT solenoids when I was trying to make that god awful thing I was messing with work that never came to fruition because somebody uh, was trying to knock off KC's design and didn't do it very well. And that's why you go with the real McCoy quality control. Anyway, so KC Turbo also does a fantastic job. Those on the live stream the other day, we talked about turbos for a while. And again, he has some different sizes. Some of them are similar. A lot of the sizing we talked about can be applied to them because again, stuff is similar. 
And again, generally speaking, the smaller the compressor wheel, the faster it'll spool, the larger it is, the slower it'll spool. Find that in between. And he's super helpful with customer service as well, just like the guys over at Turbo Time USA are. And the last guy, I have not gotten to speak with him a whole lot. I've spoken to him uh, via chat once or twice. Titan Turbo Services is a great company as well. A lot of subscribers have their turbos and run them. Just guys, again, the biggest thing for me is getting information out to you guys. Yes, Turbo Time sponsors me, but I'm not going to act like they're the only one out there because the big part is getting facts out to you guys and let you know, let you guys choose what's best for your build. Not every turbo company is going to make what's best for you guys. So they all have something slightly different to offer. They're all gonna take care of you the same uh, with great customer service. If they weren't good companies, I wouldn't be recommending them. That being said, guys, check out Turbo Time USA. Check out the other guys I mentioned. Discount code below. I do have no affiliation with the other two companies, Titan Turbo Services and KC Turbo. But guys over at Turbo Time, big fan of their stuff. We have a lot more projects with them planned, so I hope you enjoyed this upload. I hope this video helps you pick a great turbo for your 6.0 Power Stroke. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop those comments down below, guys. What turbos and tuning are you running on your 6.0 Power Stroke? And I'll see you in the next upload.